This has been a bad year for grasshoppers, with all kinds eating most of the greenery in sight. They ate grass, crops, leaves off of trees and shrubs, and in between that they made lots more grasshoppers. Then they laid their eggs in the soil for next year. But they aren't without their own enemies. The great black wasp is a relentless grasshopper hunter that normally eats nectar and flower pollen for its food. It's the baby wasps that crave grasshoppers for their development, and that puts the black flyers on a mission for these jumping insects. It's a macabre story. The female wasp searches the ground and vegetation for grasshoppers and attacks with her stinger. She pumps in venom that paralyzes her prey, usually coming back for three sting sessions to make sure that the hopper lives but cannot move. That results in fresh and ready-made food for her young. After subduing a victim, the wasp digs a ground tunnel just large enough to contain the prey. Then she buries the living victim and lays an egg or two on the fresh meat. Then she covers and plugs the burrow, carefully hiding her work so that flies and other bugs won't find and eat the free meal. The wasp grubs hatch and eat the immobilized grasshopper, then pupate to eventually emerge as adults. Then it's rinse and repeat as a natural control to help keep grasshopper populations in check. I'm Mike Blair in the Kansas Outdoors.